Hello, my sea lovelies, and welcome to episode two here on the islands of Eden. And a little bit of a progress report. I patched up that building to make it just a little bit nicer looking. <laughs> I know it's not a necessity in this world, but I hated the way I left it. And I made a little bit of a safer pathway, and I made a safe pathway as well going up to the monuments. And first thing first is that we need to gear up a bit. So we are going to make a iron sword and a crossbow. Or, yeah, crossbow. <laughs> I just cooked a fish, cooked a little bit of steak, I killed a cow. Throw back my armor back on them, I'm bad if I would have forgot about that. And we're going to dive right on into this episode. How are you guys doing today? I am doing great. Thanks for asking. Y'all are always so sweet to me. Always checking up on me. And let's see. I think that's everything I need. I got one arrow. Noted. Uh, I don't have any chicken feathers, do I? Nope. Alright, so main priorities for this episode. You know, we're starting to get a little geared up. And we want to overtake that area and I want to grab some water too so I can start farming out here and I ended up making a ton of charcoal and that's why I have so many I have two and a half stacks of torches and I still have some left over I just burnt a, a uh, stack of oak wood to get that so I felt that was a little bit easier than go mining for coal because I mined out most of that area and you can see it right there but it wasn't worth the risk for me, so... And I do want to go over there at some point. It's just a small little island. But, as we've seen, these guys who made this map, they're pretty creative. And, like, that little riddle on that um, island over there, uh, I thought that was pretty cool. So, oh, we have ourselves some evildoers right off the bat. And I think I might go with a diagonal. Is that safe? Like to walk on? Mm, it's kind of sketchy. Oh well, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're going diagonal. We'll see how this actually works when I ever have to start running on it a ton. Because <laughs> all these early pathways that we're building... I mean, if you take a look around, we're going to have a ton of different pathways. I would like to explore every island. I'm curious. I'm very curious. And that's it's kind of one of the things I like about these map makers, especially if they put in, like, little Easter eggs or bonus stuff. Like, if you take the time to do something, I would like to see that. Hi. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. You know what? I have an actual idea that might work. Oh yeah, running back on this isn't bad. Let's come over here for a second. This might work. I'm going to be pretty proud of myself if it does. Okay. We're going to make a trap door. And we're going to place it down and they're going to recognize it as a block. Oh, he left. <laughs> oh man. I still want to try it out. I still want to try it out. Okay, here he is. Nope. That's not the right spot. Dang. So we're gonna... Huh. Um... Get back up. There we go. Now we'll put a trap door... Actually... Oh, what a smart little guy. Okay, how about here? Nope. Oh! 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 If I wasn't in the right position, I would have flown off the edge. I have to be smarter in this situation. Oh man, we need... We need arrows. That's gonna be the solver of all problems. And I accidentally threw one of my potions, by the way. That's kind of upsetting. Ooh, arrow! Crit hit. Oh. Man. That's a lot of hits that it takes to kill these creepers. Alright. 
So let's start lighting up the area. Don't necessarily want to melt all the beautiful ice that we have here. But this is where we're going to be able to get our first bit of water. So I'm pretty excited about that. So we can finally start making some crops. That will be great. So we can start having a healthy supply of food. That's one, two. So that's going to melt that. That's okay. Well, one, two. Yeah, that's going to melt that too. So let's just back that to here. And we'll throw one there. Uh, one, two. That's going to melt that. Dang it. See, I know this because of my ice farm. When I was doing tests, I figured out. Oh, no, it was an ice prank where I figured out uh, what melts what. <laughs> Oh, that was great. Let me light up this path. That's the last thing you want. Our evildoers on the path. All right. And let's see. Do a little bit of this area. And I think we are good. Let's see, is there any other spots that they could spawn? Throw some stuff there. Why not? I really like the way this looks, by the way. Bedrock and the ice. I think it looks pretty cool. I do, I do. All right, let's see if we can melt some. Was it break it with an open fist? Yep. All right, where's my bucket? Oh no, it's gonna wash away the torches I just put down. <laughs> uh, that's all right. Okay. So I think this is pretty much mob proof for the most part they might spawn up on top of stuff but that's okay now let's run back real quick before we explore that tower that's a little sketchy there we go and let's get to making some crops um i'm wondering if i heard pig i heard pig Okay, that's interesting. I could have sworn I just heard a pig. But, oh wait, why am I coming down here? We don't need to do that. We are going to, let's see. Now, I know everything is hollow underneath. But that is okay. We'll just go like this. Oh, we need to make an infinite water source too, so let's just go. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> infinite water source. Ah, that means I'm gonna have to go back and get another one. That's okay. I'll work on the crops a little bit later, but we will grab the second bottle, or the bottle, bucket of water needed for that. I think it's almost kind of safer to build on a diagonal like this. I feel pretty safe going across that. And let's have the bucket ready. We'll see how quick we can snag this. Oh, like a boss. Love it. Uh, let's get this on my bar. All right. The next one won't be so easy. Um, okay. Thanks. I think this will line it up. Going up, going up. I wonder if there's anything underneath that snow. I'm kind of curious. Alright. And we have the white wool. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Oh, that's awesome. I like that. Cool. Okay. So, I'll just take one. And we're going to go ahead and place that. I'm pumped. We have completed our first challenge. Granted, it was a very easy one. They lobbed me one and I hit a home run. <laughs> Alright, let's see. First off, how much does a cooked fish give you me? Three health? Okay. I want to look underneath real quick. Just a second worth. I just want to... 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. I figured they wouldn't put anything there, but you never know. You never know. And fill that back in a little bit. There's nothing to spawn there. Okay. Good deal. Let's throw some torches. And I will take this chest. I will do it. I will do it. So, look at that mushroom. That mushroom could actually provide quite a bit of food for me if I make some bowls. Keep that in mind as well. We'll have to check that out. But, we now have an infinite water source. Yay. <laughs> there we go. And let's just go like that. Yep, don't care about that. And that should be good. But I have a, a little bit of Minecraft OCD. I would like the water to be still. I'm sure some of y'all that are watching too. I feel like it brings it out in people in this game. Like everybody's just like, I. We, yeah. You know, people just get, it's like, oh, if this block is not in the right spot, like, that might bug people. Me putting, comment below if me using that has bugged you. There we go. There we go. I did it for all of you that are bothered by it, because <laughs> I was slightly bothered by it. And we got the white wool, so we'll go take that to the monument here in a minute. And... Now it is time to start. I need to grab uh, the stuff to grow with. Duh. Melon seeds and a dat. Awesome. And we also have some bones to use some bone meal, so that's great as well. And I wonder if mobs can spawn on this stuff. I've always wondered. We'll go like this. Good enough. And over here, we will plant the melon seeds. And I might use the bone meal on that real quick, actually. Might as well. Um, did I already go past it? No, I didn't. There we go. Pow. So we have ourselves a little bit extra food, but I want to at least get the stems up. And let's just for safety, we'll go another block out. There we go. Where's my torch? And pow. Give it plenty of light, even in the night. Now, oh yeah, let's just go ahead and bone meal some wheat. And we have our, <laughs> we have our first little bits of a farm. Pretty stoked about that. That's good. That is good. I'm happy. Are you happy? I'm pretty happy. And... We will go to the monument now. After planting this last little row. I think water can reach all the way to there. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> but it's time to put the first wool on the monument this map's pretty cool I don't know where we're going to head next though where will we go next do we want to branch off from that same place it's kind of um, red wool orange wool green light blue cyan blue purple magenta pink pow we have the first one how many do we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16, all 16. So we are 1 16th of the way there. 15 remaining. White wool is now down. Now we need to figure out what direction we were going to go. This is kind of wish, th this is the moment when I wish I was live streaming. So I'd be like, guys, which way do we want to go? Mmm, that place does look pretty cool. Um, <sighs> doo -doo -doo. I knew I heard a pig earlier. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Um, unfortunately, pigs are pretty much slaughter on sight because in this update, we need carrots for them to breed instead of wheat. And that means they will die. No. Bold strategy, Mr. Pig. Stand on the edge. Yeah. Perfect. I like it. Pigs are in hunting season right now. They're okay to slaughter, guys. Give me a little bit of credit here. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's take a look over here. Hi, skeleton that spawned. Where did you spawn at? You spawned... Looks like maybe in this spot. Mm. Hopefully it doesn't melt. It might, though. Because if it melts, the reason why it's an issue is because... Then they have a sp like all the tortures will go everywhere. Okay, that should be fine. All right. So give me a few minutes, and I'm gonna figure out where we're gonna go next. Ooh, I do see some iron. I decided to go uh, this way. We're gonna go up, and let's switch over to cobblestone now. There's no elegant, pretty pass I can really make. <laughs> Which I know isn't the goal in this uh, map, but, you know, is that a spider? No, I think that's a cow. I think we're okay. I do want to grab this iron, though. Torch, torch, almost to the iron. Okay, let's see. All right, we are safe at this spot. Hmm. Still scary for me. <laughs> All right, now let's start building up. I'm looking forward to whenever we are fully ironed out. We have iron to spare. Oh! That was a spider. He <laughs> can't get me now, jerk. I thought it was a mushroom. I'm not gonna lie. Oh hi, hi hi. Ow. There we go. Ah, I don't see any other evildoers. Welcome to our noble town. Thank you for having me. Um, okay, so there's some iron down there. I'll go there in a minute. Oh, hi, Rain. R.I.P. Darkness Kirby 2, 1995. That is the maker of the map, so I do enjoy that. That's funny. Hi, I hear you. Mr. Enderman. I don't want any problems, kind sir. I would like it, though, if you would die by me so I could pick up your... In their pearl, that would be amazing on a map that's in the sky. Never know when you're gonna fall. Oh wow! Yeah, I'm stoked for that. We have arrows now, so that would be great whenever we're on treacherous, uh, one wide blocks. That'll be great. And of course, I will take those and a torch. Why not? Okay, so from here, that place looks pretty cool. I'm pretty sure I'm following the same place I did with the live stream. I remember being over there. 
Um, I think we made it all the way to that block, and that was it. So, I think I'm going to go this way. I think I am. Let's do it. And we still got a little bit of time left in this episode, so I'm sure we're going to go try to take out this island next. We conquered that island. We have conquered this one. Off camera, I'll go look and try to see if there's any goodies throughout that island as well. And, yeah, we'll see. So that's our noble town, that island. So we've conquered a total of one, two, three, four, uh, five, six. Six islands. And we have one wool. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> uh, let's use this mossy. That's why I kept it with me. Right, we're almost to our destination. <gasps> is that a carrot? That is a carrot. Might be like a golden carrot. Never ate a golden carrot before in Minecraft. That'll be interesting. Oh. Okay, that was the worst jump. At Hi, chicken. Commander Chicken, you're back. No. I don't have my leading sword on. Oh, I do have it. That's not what I wanted. There we go, there we go. Hi, pig. Um, why do you always position yourself where you make it difficult for me to kill you? Um... Come on, come on, get around that corner. Uh, pow! Hmm. Stop freaking out. It's gonna be over soon. There we go. Commander Chicken, you may live. <gasps> that darn split water everywhere. <laughs> Why? Is this ice underneath me? Like... Okay. Let's see everything first. Carrots, so we pigs now have a reason to live. Zombie pigmen. And we have villagers. That is awesome. I want to see what this sign says. Hi, friend. Um, That darn split water everywhere, neighbor. Okay. And I want to see what's under... Um, I don't like this ice. I want to make sure there's nothing underneath. Um. Okay. I think this place is fine. <laughs> so. Ow. Oh yeah, they can't access to get out, can they? Well, I hope you enjoy it, my friend. Let's see. Uh, ooh, carrot on a stick? That could be useful. Let's take that. And let's take this carrot too while I'm thinking about it. So, oh, my inventory is getting full. Um, what the sacrifice? Saplings. Don't need those. Alright. Uh, potatoes! That is extremely helpful. Spawn villager, yes, we will make a villager army. We don't need carpet. So we'll take these, and we are, we have expanded our garden. Um, yeah, so I know what I'm doing in this episode. We're gonna make a little awesome starter base. Uh, with all of this stuff. Um, is there anything else here? Do I dare look around, Commander Chicken? You're my buddy. You get to live. Anything on this side? That looks like Skyblock right there. We know about Skyblock, don't we, guys? Yeah, we do. Yes. Oh, we do. All right. Um, Got a little bit of dirt. Perfect. And I am going to do a cutaway real quick. And go back to the starter base. See you over there, guys. So, we are back. We have some wheat going. Got a little bit ready here. I just snagged some of the watermelons, so that's awesome. And we're going to do something pretty cool here. That's not how you plant stuff. 
That's not how you do. <laughs> okay, so seeds back down. There we go. This is a mixture of carrots and potatoes. I moved my water source right there. We ex uh, extended the chests, and I'll organize those later. Now, what we're going to do is make ourselves a little villager sanctuary. And we're going to see what they have to offer. To, and I don't want this. Can we break? I don't see these guys being useful for me. I know that I could climb up them possibly, but eh. Okay, that's fine for now. So I'll put the fence gates in because they will not be able to get out that way. And here they are. Meet Anthony, Spencer, Exalted Junior, Bethany, Stacy. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to remember any of those names. Let's see what they have to offer. Emerald. Uh, okay. Uh, ooh. Possibly. 12 books for that. Five, 8 gold ingots. Eh. 8 gold ingots. Are these the same? They are the same. Hmm. I, that's my favorite trade. What would be the easiest to get emeralds? Probably the gravel. I know the spot where we went, that noble town. And then the books, maybe. I haven't seen any sugar cane, though. Yep. We're looking pretty good, though, guys. And now that I'm starting to get carrots and wheat, if we're able to lure some animals back, I think what I'm going to do is maybe extend this island out a little bit and fill it in with dirt and make this a little area for our animals so we are on our way to dominating this map so we got the white wool from there we conquered that little bit place and we went to that place and we made this garden and we made a villager hut i feel like we did a lot this episode so guys if you enjoyed Please leave a like and comment on the video. I hope you truly did enjoy it, my seed lovelies. And I will see you in episode three. Y'all have a beautiful, beautiful day. Deuces. <laughs>